Hello and welcome to Therapy Express with Rosanna. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are going to talk about bad habits and getting rid of the bad habits. So before I go on with what you can do, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story. In 1971, 16 years almost into the Vietnam War, two congressmen went to the um, island and made an amazing discovery that 20% of the soldiers were addicted to heroin. They were aghast. But here is the interesting thing. When those soldiers came back home, only a small fraction of them got re-addicted. So nine out of 10 soldiers quit the addiction overnight. Why? Well, here's the interesting thing they discovered. They were out of the environment. They were away from the buddies. They were away from war and pain and horror. So once that got removed and made invisible, they were able to quit the heroin. Amazing, but true. So one of the things that they have really focused on, and I got this information from Atomic Habits, the book from James Clear, and I suggest that you read that book. It's very, very good. You can um, look it up afterward in the description. So what they discovered is that um, it doesn't just take self-discipline and self-control to beat a habit. It's making it invisible. Once you make the habit invisible, you can beat it. But here's the thing. Habits are encoded into the brain and they are always there ready to use if the right triggers come back up. So here's an example. Let's say you go to a bar every Friday night and you have a beer and after the beer you have a cigarette. But now you want to quit smoking. You've discovered that uh, smoking is bad for you and you think, you know what, I want to quit smoking. But now, every time you go to the bar and drink beer, what happens? You get triggered and now you want to smoke and you more than likely will because there's an association with it. The beer is a trigger for the cigarette. So what you would have to do is eliminate going to the bar, maybe going to a different bar, maybe not drinking the beer at all until you can beat the habit of smoking. The other thing about bad habits is they feed on themselves. So for example, you eat junk food and you feel bad. And then because you feel bad, you eat junk food. Or you're sitting in front of the TV and you feel really lazy and watching so much TV. But because you feel lazy, you stay on the couch and you continue to watch the TV. It's like a little cycle. And self-control alone will not do it. You have to get rid of the situation in order to be able to beat the habit. I'm going to give you some examples. Let's suppose that you are addicted to video games. Well, if you want to kick that habit, every time you finish playing a game, unplug the console and put it away in a closet. Let's say you want to quit drinking too much coffee. Well, just make enough coffee for one cup or this that many people are addicted to, obsessively checking your smartphone. Put it away in another room where you actually will have to get up and walk over to get it. That will eliminate you having it right there where you can just scan it and just look through every feed available to you. What if you are addicted to potato chips? Well, either don't buy the potato chips or put them on a shelf that is so hard to reach that every time you want the chips, you have to get a step stool in order to get to it. So you're making it hard for yourself to get whatever it is that you want. And that little by little will start eliminating the habit. You have to make it invisible and get rid of all the distractions and the triggers that make you want to do the habit. But what if you bite your nails? What if that's the habit? I used to have that habit about 30 years ago and I hated it. 
I wanted to stop, but it was almost next to impossible. You can't get rid of your hands. They're always with you. I suppose you could wear gloves and make it harder for yourself, but you know, who's going to wear gloves in the winter, or, I mean, in the summer, or even in the winter, nobody wears gloves. So if you have a habit like that, like biting your nails, what you do is become aware each time that your hands go to your mouth. And this is what I started doing. Then you start identifying the thoughts that are going through your mind as you do this. For me, I discovered that I was thinking about school. I was at, at the time I was working on my master's degree and I was really stressed out. I was doing an internship and there was just a lot of stuff going on. So for me, it was the stress of school, paper writing, a money, tuition, and everything else. So when I started paying attention, every time that my hand would go like this, I realized I was thinking about some stressful situation. And that's what was causing me to bite my nails. As soon as I became aware of it, it was like a light went on in my head. And now, every time I was going to get my hand, I thought of what I was thinking, and then I was able to process it in my own mind. Okay, no, you're going to be okay. You're going to get through this master's program. You're going to do... And I would talk myself through it, and I stopped biting my nails within a week or two. I haven't done it since. So it really does work. If you shine a light on the situation and now you know that you're biting your nails because you're worried about your health or somebody else's health or whatever it is that you're worried about and you know it's anxiety because biting the nails is caused by anxiety, then once you know it, you can address it and then replace it with something else. Maybe you want to get some gum and every time that you're going to bite your nails, you can chew gum. That's harmless enough but replace it with something else. Or you can journal it and say, you know, I was thinking about school today or my health or whatever it is and write it down. And now you're putting the focus on the paper and writing it. And now that's there instead of in your mouth. Now, these techniques really do work. I urge you to try them if you have a habit that you want to drop. And uh, if you do try it and it works, please let me know. Write it in the comment section. I would love to hear your success story. All right, that's it for today. Good luck with your habit breaking. I hope it is successful for you. And, uh, you know, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and look for me next week. Until then, make every moment count. Bye.